I was so excited to get my hands on the Paperlike screen protector. For a while now, I have been seeing so much hype for this product all over YouTube. As I just bought the new M1 iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the stunning Liquid Retina XDR display, I wanted to do everything that I could to protect the screen from any damage. If you don't already know, the Paperlike screen protector is designed to enhance your experience when using the Apple Pencil, giving your screen a more natural paper feeling when drawing or writing. It definitely achieves this with a very satisfying texture when writing on the screen. However, if you want to do anything else on your iPad other than use your Apple Pencil, it kind of downgrades the overall experience and makes the iPad very frustrating to use. First issue I noticed straight away was the noise added to my iPad's display. After perfectly applying the paper-like, which was a very good and thought out process, I turned my iPad back on to be greeted by a huge decrease to the overall image quality. It was so bad that I wanted to take the screen protector off straight away. My iPad now has this grainy texture across the entire screen, making text harder to read, colors less accurate, and when editing photos, I now have no idea if the noise is in my photographs from the camera sensor or if it's just my iPad screen. I bought the 12.9 inch version of the M1 iPad Pro for the enhanced Liquid Retina XDR display. But unfortunately, the Paperlike screen protector makes that upgrade completely pointless. On their website, they claim that this screen protector enhances your viewing experience. But I'm sorry to say, this is a total lie. And this quote over here too regarding the screen noise, as I demonstrated earlier in this video, is not what I'm seeing when using my iPad. When using the Paperlike, I am now getting this vignetting effect around the screen, which is very distracting when working on a bright white background, which you're going to be doing a lot if you're going to be using your Apple Pencil. You're going to be drawing on a piece of paper, which is obviously going to be a white bright background. And you can see this vignetting all around the screen, which just totally takes you out of the zone. Now, something that really impressed me about the M1 iPad Pro was its overall screen brightness. Full screen brightness is 1000 nits and at peak brightness, it's 1600 nits when using HDR content. Over the past few weeks, I have been using my M1 iPad Pro outside and I've been surprised by how usable it is in such bright sunlight conditions. But with the paper like the screen is not visible outside. This surprised me the most. With the Paperlike being a matte screen protector, I actually expected the outdoor performance to be better as it would reduce the screen glare from direct sunlight, but it just makes your iPad completely useless. The screen is so dim with the Paperlike when using it outside, it actually increases your eye strain because you can't see what you're doing on your iPad. Another thing that's just shocking about the Paperlike that some people need to talk about is how easily it gets marked. Remember those lines I was drawing at the start of this video? Well, this is what the screen protector looked like after drawing those lines. You'd think that my iPad had screen burn as these lines are so obtrusive to the viewing experience, you would never believe that that was caused by your screen protector. I think it's really sad that this product has been promoted by so many of my favorite YouTubers, but does not meet any of the expectations that were set. Maybe on older iPads, the issues raised in today's video do not exist. It could have something to do with the new mini LED display technology technology in the new generation of iPads, which when combined with the Paperlike is creating this very obvious screen noise. Maybe Paperlike just assumed without testing that this screen protector would work on this iPad as it is the same dimensions as the last generation. But that's just some assumptions. I don't know. All I know is from my testing is that the Paperlike is the worst screen protector I have ever purchased. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more videos every single week.